But tonight we are learning that Bay Area traffic congestion is sending more commuters off buses and back into their cars where they apparently think they can go faster. KPI X5's Devin Feely explains it's a vicious cycle that's only worsening traffic. It takes me twice as long to get anywhere than if I just called an Uber. Um, it's inconvenient. They don't always show up. Rebecca Almez relies on buses to get where she's going, but says the transit system itself isn't always reliable. Yeah, I think the problem is that the bus company, they don't ride the buses. They have no idea what it's like for us. And so they don't make realistic schedules. They say everything is 10 minutes apart, but I've lived here my entire life and traffic never allows for just a 10 minute ride. Bus ridership has dropped sharply in the past year across the Bay Area, but nowhere more than Santa Clara County. Where the Valley Transportation Authority has seen a 10.7% drop. There's congestion pretty much everywhere, so we, as with many transit agencies around the country, are experiencing this declining ridership on our bus systems. Transit agencies say it can be a vicious cycle. The slower that buses are, the more likely they are to get stuck in traffic, and the more likely people are to hop in their cars instead which only ends up making traffic that much worse. Slower speeds cost VTA not just time, but money. Take Route 22, for example. Its average speed has declined 34% from nearly 16 miles per hour in 1995 to just over 10 today. To stay on schedule, the transit agency has been forced to increase the number of buses it runs on the route from 15 to 22, and that costs money. But fixing the problem is challenging, and right now there is no real plan to put the brakes on a troubling trend. So we're taking a proactive approach to see how we can offer faster, more frequent, and reliable service. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.